Now let's group the layers to clear some space. Using the pen tool make a selection of the bridge. I have already made the selection of middle part and lower part as you can see in channels panel. In channels panel, control click on the whole bridge channel, then shift control click on the lower part to select the whole bridge. Then open new curves layer and drag the white point to the left to lighten the bridge. Group the layer with a negative mask. Click on the gradient. Choose white to transparent. Make sure it's a radial gradient. Put the opacity on 20. Then apply it to areas under light bulbs, which is supposed to be brighter, to create a light gradient. Duplicate previous layer by pressing Ctrl J. I will put both layers in one group and rename it to Light Bridge. Apply a negative mask to the group, then apply a radial gradient from the middle of the bridge to draw attention to the center. Double click on the layer mask and decrease the density to approximately 80%. To accentuate the lights and shadows beneath the bridge, control click on lower part channel and channels panel in order to select the lower part of the bridge. Then open new levels adjustment layer. Drag the white point to the left. Somewhere here and the middle point to the right a little bit. Group the previous layer with a negative mask and apply a radial gradient to the areas with lights and shadows beneath the bridge.
Rename the previous group to Shadows and then group all the layers in which we were working on the bridge and rename it Bridge. Now we are going to work on black and white conversion. Create new black and white adjustment layer. As you can see, the image in black and white still needs some contrast. If we are going to move color sliders in black and white adjustment layer, or if we will use the classic S curve to add contrast, banding will happen. So another way to do it is to add gradient map and midtone contrast. Disable the black and white adjustment layer and make sure the bridge group is highlighted. Then open new gradient map adjustment layer. Click on gradient inside the box and choose black to white. Then hit OK. This layer added good amount of contrast and boosted the highlights but made the darker areas darker. We want to limit the effect only to the midtones and highlights. To do so, right click on gradient map layer and choose blending options. In blend if menu, alt click on the black slider in underlying layer to separate the slider to two small sliders, then move it all the way to the right. Now we have removed the effect from the darker areas. In order to add midtone contrast, first we must select the midtones. We are going to use curves adjustment layer for that. Open new curves adjustment layer and drag the white point all the way down. Then create a new point in the middle of the flat curve and begin dragging it up. Stop somewhere above the center of the square. Then drag the white point slightly to the left to decrease the amount of selected highlights and drag the black point slightly to the right to protect the shadows. Everything that is white is fully selected. Everything that is black is not selected. Different shades of gray are less selected, but they are what we need. Then go to the Channels panel and Control click on the RGB layer to apply the selection. Now open new Curves Adjustment layer and disable the previous curves layer. Add contrast by pulling up the highlights and bringing down the shadows to your taste. Then decrease the opacity to around 50. Group the previous layer with a white mask and paint with black on the black areas to remove the effect. Rename the layer to Midtone Contrast. Now open New Levels Adjustment layer and drag it above the previous group. Click Alt while pressing on the white point and drag it little bit to the left till you see some clipping in highlights, which is supposed to be clipped. Drag the middle slider slightly to the right to add more contrast. Group the previous layers and rename them to Mid Contrast. Now we can delete the curves adjustment layer that we used for creating the selection of the midtones as we are not going to need it any longer. The texture on the bridge looks dirty and not homogeneous. In order to fix that, we shall apply frequency separation. But before we start, we have to remove the bright and dark distracting elements. 
Create a new stamp layer by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt E and start cleaning the bridge using Clone Stamp Tool and Patch Tool. Now duplicate the layer and rename the bottom layer to color and the top layer to texture. Disable the texture layer and click on color layer. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and drag the blur slider until all the texture disappears but we still have some definitions in the edges. Now enable texture layer, then go to image, apply image. In apply image menu, in layer drop down menu select color, blending, choose subtract, scale to offset 128, then hit OK. Change the blending mode of texture layer to linear light. Highlight both layers and put them in group and rename it frequency separation. Now go to Tools panel and in the Brush submenu choose Mixer Brush. Make sure that this rectangle is transparent. Put Witness 2, Load 75, Mix 90% and Flow to 10. Now select the bridge by control clicking on the middle part channel and control shift clicking on the lower part channel. Click on color layer to highlight it and start painting over the bridge in the direction of its lines. As you can see, the frequency separation dramatically improved the texture of the bridge and removed all discrepancies. And right now it looks very pleasing to the eye. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.